Good morning. My name is Melissa, also known as a thrifty broad, and you're on my YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm I'm only in my second coffee in. So I decided I'm gonna do a ship with me and tell you what sold over the weekend. Well, really what sold over sad not Saturday. Well, I guess I could include Saturday, but I'm not gonna. Um, what I'm shipping today, I'll show you what sold. Basically, it's a Sunday and Monday and some Tuesday, which is today, um, like one item. I think maybe a couple items from today. Anyway, so I'll let you know what they sold for and how much I made and all that. So I did run a couple 30% off sales. I did, I read, I sent 30% offers on Poshmark and I have free shipping. Um, I did, I am doing 30% off right now on, actually I'm doing 35% off today on Depop and tomorrow is the last day that Depop will, um, not take any seller fees out. So if you go 30% or more, they will forgive your uh, seller fees. And so, you know, to give people a deal, which I think is a really interesting idea. And I really like that Depop does that. And I kind of wish Poshmark would do that once in a while. That would be kind of amazing. Although they would lose probably a lot of money, but, and that's why they would never do it because Poshmark doesn't want to lose money to us. They rather lose money to the customers. I don't know. <sighs> Poshmark is this, I don't know. Poshmark baffles me sometimes, I guess, but I'm just going to keep with it. I, I I won't lie though. I've been doing free shipping since the 5th of December on most platforms, except Mercari slowly. It's almost all the way there for Mercari because I've been relist, delisting and relisting pretty aggressively for Mercari. And I won't lie on Poshmark, I, I started putting it on $4.99 instead of free. And then I went back and I actually went back to free. I need to make myself do this for longer than less than 30 days. So I need to do this for at least three months on all the platforms to really understand if it's going to help me. 30 days isn't enough. And I don't think 60 days is really enough. I think 90 days is bare minimum to really understand. And if I can see that I'm you know, selling more items and making more money overall, I will keep it this way. Um, even though there's a bigger disparity between how much I sold it for and how much I make because that shipping is in there, but it's also, you know, it, it also will make my taxable income less because it's an expense. I believe that's how that works. I don't know. I'm not sure if I do my taxes correctly. I, I use H and R blog. I probably need a CPA don't, I will never give tax advice and, um, and you should never take tax advice from anyone other than a CPA full stop. That's it. So let's get shipping. So this sold on, um, Mercari. So I'm not going to share my screen because I don't want to share. I don't want to, um, what do you call it? I don't need to look at myself either. Um, I can't give away, you know, my, the address of, of my people, not my people. Oh my God. What's wrong with me? I'm tired. I'm not really awake yet of my customers. That's who they are. They're not my people. I mean, it could be my people, but you know what I mean? It's, it's going to be one of those days, honestly. So, um, so yeah. This is going to go, this is some Everlane jeans that sold on Mercari this morning for $45 with free shipping. So I'm going to use, um, what do you call it? Pirate ship. I have that up on my screen right now. So I decided that I'm going to send it. I have it double plastic in here. I know eco-friendly it is not. However, I wanted to get it to my customer and not have it, you know, be wet. Cause it's super rainy here. Like I'm in Washington state. I'm in the West in Western Washington. And let me tell you, it's rainy, rainy, so rainy. Like part of my basement, like the beginning part of my basement where I have all my inventory, although it's not on the ground. So everything that's in Ikea bags, I do have some stuff that I'm storing in Ikea bags. That's up on shelves, like the black shelving like that. I'm not sure if you can see that. No, back to stream yard. No. Well, yeah, you can see the corner. That's a black shelving that I have downstairs. Anyway, so um, oh, I need to print this. Um did I just hit print? <laughs> I did. Okay. 
hit buy a label. And right now the flat rate um, on pirate ship, I think it's only the flat rate ones, pr flat rate priority. They're not charging the extra. So you get the same amount. So this is 760 instead of you being charged 990. So I'll buy that. Hopefully this will all fit because I sold stuff in this whole can, which is only about maybe a fourth of percent, a fourth of the way full in there. But then all these big bulky items. So I gotta I gotta package those too. That'll be fun. You know, I'll have to talk to you the whole time. Okay, so let me print this. The market is sold. And Anyway, I hope you had a good uh, holiday. I kind of worked on Christmas because I don't know. We we didn't really decorate this year, and this year's was kind of just kind of shitty, honestly. So it's shitty thing gone wrong this year. So I'm really looking forward to 2023 and have it not be shitty. So, um, and you know, it's this is the first Christmas without a cat and. It's, I think it's really affecting us still. I know it's just a cat, but you know, I think when I was younger, I didn't allow myself to kind of get um, attached to cats because they would always die. When I was a little girl, I, we always had cats, but they would always die because they'd get ran over on the road or whatnot. And uh, so she didn't really like to go outside that much. She went outside a little bit, but she mainly went outside on the back porch and sunbathed. That's all she did. Cause she's a black cat and she loved the sun. <laughs> it's like, okay. She would lay right in front of the fire cause she loved to be hot. She really did. Anyway, so that's one Macari down. And so after fees and all that, I'll tell you how much I made. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. I have some dead space in here. Sorry. Okay. So like I said, it sold for 45 with free shipping. So that was 760, 630 was a fees. And so I made a profit of $29 and 10 cents. Cause I got them from the bins and they only cost me $2. So that's awesome. Oh, I'm not sure if everything's actually in my spreadsheet. Well, I'll find out anyway. So I need to go back to all the sold. And know which one's next. Ugh. It's sometimes it's hard to just kind of, well, I'll just pull out the first thing and then ship that. This is a Bowden skirt. Um, it sold for, oh, I don't have to look at my spreadsheet. I can just look at here. Did not make any really any money off of this. Uh kind of getting it out. Sold on Poshmark, sold for $17 with free shipping. So I paid $7.67 for shipping. I paid $2 for cost of goods. So I made a profit of $3.93. Bowden skirts aren't always the best. I mean, I picked up from the bins. I did make, you know, I more than doubled my money, which isn't a whole lot. But, you know, I, um, let me bring up my, I use my phone to double check. Um, there we go. Of who it's going to, because I like to do a double check system especially sending out packages, especially sending out so many is what I meant. Um, I don't want to send the wrong thing to the wrong person. And I have all my Poshmark already um, printed out. I just print it out in bulk and then I just look for the right name afterwards. I know it's a little slow for some people, but it works for me. And honestly, that's at the end of the day, you have to do what works for you. It doesn't matter if something works for me. If it doesn't work for you, then you shouldn't do that system. You should find a different system that works for you. So, yes, that's the right one. Okay. Pull the next one out. Oh, my God. So, over, I think this one, over the, um, what do you call it? Oh, it's Christmas Eve story time a little bit. So Christmas Eve, I made the sale, right? Not this sale, a different sale. Cause I already shipped it. I wish I wouldn't have shipped it so fast. I made the sale on eBay and of course it's free shipping and I have free returns. 
I almost hope she just forgets about it and never returns it. Because she started the return already. And she hasn't even got it yet, which is interesting. So she sends me this message the day uh, de- on Christmas Day, right? Honestly, if you're going to return something to somebody, don't be an asshole and return it on Christmas Day. I just think that's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm not Christian. I'm atheist, but I still celebrate Christmas because Christmas isn't actually a Christian holiday. I'm not getting into politics or anything like that, but it's really not. It actually goes way goes way back further than that it's really a pagan holiday and so but i love christmas i just i grew up with christmas i love christmas but um it's i just think it's just shitty on a holiday to be like oh i need to return this as soon as i get this i made a mistake i've never accidentally purchased anything like never in my life did i accidentally purchase something every time i purchase something it's been on purpose so let me know in the comments below have you ever accidentally and i don't mean your kid accidentally purchased it for you because i also think that's a lot of bullshit most of the time as well but i think it does happen sometimes but i think the amount of times people say it happens is not true however have you accidentally purchased it so i'm thinking it's a accidental drunk purchase maybe this lady made and decided the next day she didn't like to do she didn't want it She's like, I can't afford this. I need to return as soon as I get it. And then she opened it. I said, I responded. I know it probably wasn't, I know this wasn't uh, professional. I didn't care at this point. And I was like, Merry Christmas to you. Because it was the first thing I saw when I woke up on Christmas morning. And I'm like, Merry Christmas to you too, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, passive aggressive, you betcha. Do I care? Not at all. Because she cost me $12, which... It was an anthropology, a really cute anthropology. It's that, hold on. <laughs> this is making a lot of noise. Okay. This is Poshmark, okay. Um, I gotta make sure it's the right one. I'm talking and I wanna make sure that I'm doing the right one here. 686, 686, okay. So, um, so she did open the return after I sent that message. And so she has till the 19th of January to return it. She probably will. She'll probably do it the moment she gets it. She's supposed to get it on like the 31st of December. And so she has like 20 days, almost 20 days after she gets it to return it. But I really hope she just forgets. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Or gets delayed to her it won't it won't because it's going to georgia and i don't think they're having any kind of weather issues over there but anyway it just it irritated me and i know that's a lie a lot of people don't do free shipping and don't do free returns and i get it i totally get it and if it doesn't work for you you shouldn't do it um i'm trying to figure out if it will work for me and i can't let one isolated incident ruin my idea or ruin a chance to make more sales so i'm gonna keep with it and still have free returns, free shipping on my eBay. Although I did have to be kind of, vi- you have to be more vigilant in your pricing. Um, of course, you you pad your pricing when you do free shipping. You don't, if I were going to already list it at 25 but if it's going to cost me about almost $10 to ship, I'll add $10 to it, you know. And sometimes I add like a couple extra dollars to negotiate, have something to negotiate with, you know what I mean? But yeah, they have a little wiggle room. But anyway, okay, so that's done. Next item, I think this one is an eBay. I think it is. But although I did figure out something, something kind of cheeky on uh, Poshmark. So I'll tell you my little secret. So sometimes, if you offer too low, like if some, if I have something for 25 and someone offers me 10 and I have free shipping, that free shipping does actually turn off automatically if I were to accept that. Cause I did accept one, I think a couple days ago, it was a $10 and it was for 25. I just wanted to see if it would, if it would take it off automatically and it did. So she had to pay for full shipping and she got the item for $10. Fine. Although with free shipping, I mean, honestly, just offer me the equivalent of that, I don't know, you still need free shipping, but I guess it'd be the same. So another woman, and I think this is a glitch in Poshmark, but I'm going to take advantage of this glitch a little bit. 
So I have these pants on Poshmark. They were listed at $35 with free shipping. And this person was like, I'm trying to offer you 20, but it says I have to pay for shipping. I thought you had free shipping. And so I said, I'm pretty sure, although I don't think it's for 20. I think it's because 15, I accepted a 15. I, I still had to pay for shipping on that one. So um, I did say, oh, I'm pretty sure that, you know, I kind of play a little dumb and like, oh yeah, Poshmark, I think, you know, uh, takes it off if you offer, if it, if the offer's too low. So I just left it at that. So she sent me a, an offer for $20. And on her end and on my end, it says that I would make blah, blah, blah. Like, like a, as if it has no free shipping. But I know when I, I was sent an offer for the BKE jacket that you're going to see me package. Um, that one was up there for more. She offered me 40. I was like, you know what? Fine. I'll just accept it. And, and it tricked. And this is how I figured it out. It told me I was going to make more than I actually did, but it did actually apply my free shipping, even though to her, it wouldn't have like to her on her end, it showed that she would lose the free shipping. So I think what I'm going to do is if I send out an offer and they counter me and it's quite a bit lower, I'm just going to go in manually take out. It does say you change it, but it didn't say what you changed. I'm going to go in and take out the free shipping and then accept the offer because my free shipping is based on a percentage of my higher price, not my low price, you know, not, not the lower price they want to pay. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to do that. I don't know if they're going to fix that. I, I don't know if it's an intentional glitch. Don't know. But anyway, so if you didn't know about that glitch and you wanted to try some free shipping or you don't want to give your discounted shipping when someone's offering you much lower, then go in, take out the shipping part and then accept it. Can't accept it first, obviously, because then you can't change it. But uh, you know, I tried that with my other account and it didn't work. So I don't, but it did work with this lady. So I don't know if it doesn't work every time. So I'm going to keep trying it and I'll report back and let you know. Okay. So this is Ann Taylor. This is an Ann Taylor. Uh, did I tell you the last thing I packaged? I don't know if I did or not. Oh yeah, I did. I did. Okay. So this over $24 on Poshmark. Um, it's after fees, after free shipping, I made a profit of $9 and 70 cents. It's only been listed for a little over a month. So I'm okay. If I'm making a bad $10 profit on each item, like I want to make more than that. But if I'm making a $10 profit, I'm not bitching about that either. So S okay. Gotta find this person here. And, um, yeah, I don't know. This is kind of hard to keep talking, isn't it? I know there's people that do it. Well, I mean, I like it watching it like couples do it. Although my husband would never, and ever, ever, ever in a million years go on YouTube with me. Never. Maybe if my life depended on it, maybe. Okay. Oh God. <sighs> I'm going to regret these. I already know I'm going to regret this, accepting this offer. These are some giant pair of jeans. I'm going to see if I can get it into a padded flat rate though. Let's see, how can I, I need to, come on, maybe. Oh my God, this is so big. This is like a size of 54. This is huge. Okay. Make it into a, a smaller polyvalent first. And then, because this is sold on eBay. Ew. Okay, we've been, me and my husband have been watching uh, Schitt's Creek, and if you've not seen that, it's a fantastic show. You should see it. It's hilarious. Okay, I have to figure out a different way to fold this to make it work. I know, someone, uh, someone's probably watching this like, I know how, I know how. I don't know how, so I have to figure it out. Oof. Really hope, okay, maybe this will fit into the pad flat right Okay, we'll just try to fit it into that. Ugh. Maybe I can just shove it in there more. Oh, I, I feel like this is not going to fit into this. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I can get this fit in there. Jesus. I have fit so many things in pattern flat rates before. Oh, yeah. I'll show you the kind of little trick, too. You can't close it. There's a little trick, and it works. Okay. 
Oh my god. So I will put extra tape on this because I do not. Okay, these aren't the best made in the world. These padded flat rates, they really aren't. I've had quite a few that were splitting. So what I do is I get it as far as I can over. Oh my God. To get it to stick. And then I tape it the rest of the way. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to start taping. I'm going to use the eBay tape because it has white background. Ah, I know it's thin. I know it's cheap. I don't care. I only sell clothing. I don't I don't ship heavy hard goods. If you ship heavy hard goods, I would understand why you don't use the eBay tape. That would make sense to me because you have to use so much of it to secure whatever package you're using. So there was like a little opening right there and it couldn't close it all the way. So I just use eBay tape. It has a white background. So it looks like I was able to close it, but I wasn't. That's okay. They can't they can't figure that out. And then I do go all the way around it. And I'll go all the way around the other way. Sorry if you hate the, the sound of tape. If you do, I don't know why you're watching what's sold what not what sold, but ship with me videos because generally there's a lot of tape noises. There won't be a lot in mine, but okay. So I've already shipped that. Okay, I'll tell you what this sold for. Okay, this is key. It is a vintage men's 5430 faded medium wash bib overalls. I've had them for a long time. Well, not a long time. I've had them since July. They just never sold. No one wanted them. I'm like, all right. So someone on eBay was like, well, how about I give you $30? with free shipping. I was like, all right. So after fees, and I did think I was going to get in here and I did. Um, so I made a profit of $12 and 81 cents, which is fine. Um, a lot of, a lot of the lower, um, sales are going to be, I don't know how to really even say this. Anyway, it's going to be stuff that I got some, some of it I got a while ago and just never listed it until recently. Um, you know what I mean? Like it's older stuff that if I were to go to the bins today, I wouldn't get again. This is one of those pieces. I just wouldn't buy it again. So anyway, I do not do bulk. I do not do the bulk shipping on, um, eBay. Although, you know, you can do it. It doesn't take that long. I mean, I only have eight. I have eight. And it's not going to take me that long to ship it. I'm also shipping with you. So that's always going to take longer anyway. So yeah. Um, I know a lot of people do bulk shipping and maybe when I get a lot more orders per day on eBay, I will figure it out. But I think in order to do the bulk shipping, you need to be able to, um, what do you call it? Have everything weighed ahead of time. And, and you really should, you really should. So, um, let me just pick this padded envelope purchase. I mean, at least I made, I made a, I mean, I made a decent profit over the weekend and, oh yeah, I got to make sure this is actually on my spreadsheet too. So I will be updating my spreadsheet as we, as we talk. Yes. Okay, good. Because not all my sales made it to my other spread, my Sarah style spreadsheet. Cause I have, I'm looking at venue right now. Oh, also, speaking of Endu, over the weekend, I decided to go to Fiverr and try to find myself a lister. Decided I'm going to look into that again. So I found this guy. Um, he's overseas. And he uh, seems to be working out so far. So I, I literally just started. He just started like yesterday. And he's been doing stuff today. And um, I think it's going to work out with him. So I I'm, I'm, might get a couple. Like I might like find at least one more lister for me and they're not, but he's not listening for me. He just has access to the vendue. Cause I actually want to do the listing myself. I don't want somebody else to have access to any of that. Um, cause if he has access to my vendue, he has access to none of my financial information, like for Poshmark eBay. I mean, I know eBay, you can set it up uh, in such a way that they don't have access to that, but, um, I just, I'd rather list stuff myself. 
And I'm also going to price it myself. I don't want him to price it for me. I want to price it because I know what my strategy is. I don't want to have to explain it to somebody and have somebody have to remember my pricing strategy. And if I want to change it, I have to explain it to him again. I don't want to do that. I mean, not that I don't think he could understand it. I think he'd understand just fine. He seems to be um, really good at what he's doing, which is great because this is what I need. Um, but yeah, he went through, he did one for me yesterday and I didn't see his message until this morning. Cause I think at that point I ate dinner with my husband and then, um, we watched TV for a while. Um, he filled out all the appropriate things in eBay, like all the extra fields for me. And that's really what I need. And that's, that's what I realized my bottleneck was, was the listing process. I can photograph, I can take the measurements and, and get everything uploaded into Vendu. And that doesn't take that much time for me. It's the listing process that does. And mainly because my hands will sometimes hurt from typing too much. So if he does most of the typing, then my hands, I'm saving my hands. Also, I'm freeing up more time for myself to do other things, do some housework, do, you know, do normal things that I need to do for myself or just have a little bit more free time. So yeah, I, I do like that. And if I ever get somebody like actually like a hire somebody to come here, it will be just to ship my ship stuff. Um, I think I'll still do the pictures and the measurements. I mean, eventually it'd be nice to have somebody do that, but not anytime soon, like not nearly anytime soon. Yes, we're still trying to move to England, but not for, probably for a few years. I've had someone ask me about that recently. Um, anyway, so back to shipping. This isn't just a update my life kind of video. I mean, although it can be. So I don't know, it's my YouTube channel. It should be somewhat about me, right? Anyway, so these are the pants that the lady offered me 20 bucks for. And I took off the free shipping and it stayed off. So let's go to that. I'll tell you how much it's sold for. 20 bucks. <laughs> I think I already did. Anyway, after shipping in my cost of goods, I made a profit of $13.88. Very excited about that because it's these Catherine um, Women's 3X Floral Pull-On Wide Leg Pants with pockets. I don't think I've been saying what it was. Or how have I been? I don't know. I'll find out. Sorry. So sorry if uh, I, I've not been saying everything I should be saying. Anyway, so I don't really do many ship with me. So this one might be a bit rough. But going forward, I'll try to be better. Um, yeah, it's sold on Poshmark. So I've already printed that out. Just got to find her. Oof. Oh yeah. And I had a really good sale last week, which, um, it was like a full price hundred dollar sale with free shipping, but I think I'll do, I'll, I'll do a, I, I, I need to do a catch up. What's a little video, a couple of them. I never did lose Poshmark for, um, November. And most of December, I haven't done it all. So yeah, uh, I'm still planning to do those. So I'm not forgetting about it. Just, I just didn't feel motivated to make videos for a little bit. So, you know, we all get there. Let me make sure this is on my spreadsheet and then I can move on to the next thing. But this might be a little long. So I mean, maybe we can get some work done, you know, let me know in the comments how, how sales were for you, have been for you over the weekend. Hopefully they've been good. I mean, I made, 24 sales on Sunday, Monday, and then a couple today. So overall it was pretty good. Let's see. What's the next thing we're going to sell? Oh, not sell. Send. Okay. This is the Alpha. It's Adidas Alpha Skin, I think it's called. Yes. Sold for $17 on Poshmark. Um, it's just a medium mock neck camo polyester t-shirt, basically. And um, it had free shipping. So I made a profit of $4.04, which is fine. Because literally, like I said, in, in the future, I don't think I'd sell things like this on its own. But I might still pick it up to, like, bundle together. You know, I might get a bunch of Adidas, you know, or a bunch of just athletic 
menswear or something like that and just put it together like a lot of five and then just put up there for a price with free shipping and see if someone will just buy the whole lot so i don't know i haven't decided like my strategy for 2023 and i hate that i'm gonna even say this but um it is going to be quality over quantity and i really hate that statement i'll tell you why because i i don't think I don't think that there's no money to be made and and the items that sell for less. I absolutely don't. But I do think if I'm going to do the free shipping model, I need to have a bigger profit inside there. You know what I'm saying? So I do want people to bundle and I do want to give discounts. So if I, if I want to do all that and do free shipping, then I need to have a bigger profit margin than I do with something like this, you know? Um, and, and maybe if I wait long enough, someone would have paid $25 and I would make like $9, you know, in profit, but I'd rather kind of offload some of the stuff now and just get different stuff for later. And like I said, better stuff. Also, I am going to utilize flip more in 2023. I have two boxes that I need to send out, um, today and, I have uh, plans to make a couple more boxes and I'm just going to keep gradually making those boxes. I know I've said that in a previous video. I'm going to keep making those boxes and uh, eventually I think I'll get a good income from that as well. And it'll, that's kind of like having employees in a way without having employees, you know, will everybody you get matched with be great? Nope. That's definitely true. However, you know, I've not lost any, I've not lost money on any of those lots yet. So like with thread up, I've never lost the lost money either. However, um, I think this is a better, this is better. This, you have more control over flip than you do thread up. Cause right up, you have to keep it with them for 90 days. And I, and I think you do have to keep it with, with full for 90 days, but I don't mind it. And then it can extend so that they, they can give you like one or two extensions where thread up won't do that. And I know you can still make money with thread up and people do, and I'm happy for those people. And I have a couple boxes that are, that got processed in November that I'm making some money off of and great. You know, I'm happy about that. However, <clears throat> hello frog. However, I, um, I think I, I think flip will be better for me overall, in my opinion. So I don't know. I don't want to rule it out. I don't, I don't want to do flip myself. I don't want inventory. I don't want to go through that process. That process just stresses me out. I don't like it. Although it's easier, it's easier as someone sending it out. I, I don't like the process of trying to get it in. I mean, other people are great with it, but I have anxiety issues and I, and some things just pique my anxiety more than others. And that's just one of them. And I'm like, you know what? I'm good. I don't need that. I have great bins. I enjoy shopping at the bins. It's, it's like stress relief for me. So I like doing that. And I find great stuff. So, okay, these are BBG. They sold on Poshmark as well. Let me tell you what they sold for. If I can find them, there they are. Let me just make sure they are on my spreadsheet. Yes. Okay. So these sold for $21 on Poshmark, um, after shipping, free shipping, oh, after shipping cost of goods and platform fees, I made a profit of $7 and 24 cents. And like I said, I sent out 30% offers with free shipping. I knew, hold on. Burrito, give me a taco, and then hotel. I knew I would not make as much if I just waited. And I'm okay with that. BBG doesn't always do well when it comes to the jeans. Some, some do. Some people can sell that stuff for crazy money. I cannot. I've never, okay, that's the person. I've never been able to do that. I think the most expensive pair of BBG I've ever sold were like 40 bucks or $45.
no, it was 40 bucks, I think, a long time ago. Anyway, so next item is this Asian Eye Silk Women's Floral Geometric Wool Silk Blend Scarf. Let me go find out my thing here, make sure it's on my spreadsheet. Come on, you can do it. Here it is. Okay. And I'll tell you how much I made. <laughs> okay. Okay, it is on there. Okay, cool. It's over $17. Um, this is light stuff I always pick up at the bins. I don't really think it, it doesn't really cost me much, although I do cost average, and so I do put a cost of goods on there. Maybe you shouldn't for the scarves. Maybe I'll stop doing that for the scarves so they're kind of basically free and I'll just spread the cost over the other heavier items. Anyway, after fees and all that, I made a profit of $4.15. You know, happy just to get it out and be on my merry little way. Make space for newer items because I am going to the bins tomorrow. And I feel like I'll be able to actually get more listings. And if I can get more higher quality, not higher quality, but more listings of um, more higher quality stuff, then I have a bigger chance to make more money going forward. Because I would love it if I can make 10000 a month in sales or more. That would be amazing. Right now, I think I might get to 6000 at the end of this month. So that's amazing for me. Because last year, I looked at my last year's numbers. I didn't even break 4000 in sales last December. And this, in this December, I am already at 4,800. So I'm almost at 5,000. So yeah, I'm almost actually at 4,900. So I'm really close to that. I'm like $19 off of that. And I don't think everything's actually in my spreadsheet. So I actually might be higher than that. <clears throat> so I have like a little over a thousand to close in the last like couple days of the month. I might do it. I might do it. I don't know. So it depends on what sells because I have, I think I have some pretty good stuff out there. Anyway, so let me figure out who bought this, get this out, and then we'll go on to the next item. Tell me if you like these kinds of videos. I mean, I know I do, but I don't know. I think for the most part people do because if you're watching it, chances are you like them. And that's why you're watching. Okay, this is Wrangler. <clears throat> okay, did you? Okay, this was also on Poshmark. Oh, this is not in my spreadsheet because it's not. I have to update my actual. This as well. I I I love Vendu, but I don't like when you. When you mark something for sale on the Vendu app, it actually just makes it all zeros, even if you filled it all out on the app. On the desktop, it's all zeros. I don't really like that it does that, but, you know, I've worked it out. I mean, I do generally do it all on my computer. I don't do it really with my phone. It's like when I'm watching TV with my husband, I'll use my phone to delist something um, because I can do that quick from wherever we're at. And then I update it the next day. Okay, so this does need to go on my spreadsheet. So <clears throat> these are Wrangler women six by 30. Uh, they were like size six, but they were 30 inseam. Uh, blue boot cut jeans. And they sold for $28 with free shipping. So after fees, my cost of goods and everything, I made a profit of $12.84. I was actually really happy about that. Like, this is what I was hope would happen, that I would send out offer, because they, they were for, for, for up there for 35 They got 20% off, plus, because uh, this is after I did the 30% off. I only did 30% off one day, and then the rest of the day was 20%. Um, <clears throat> that's what I wanted us to do. This is what I was hoping would happen with Poshmark, is that we'd get 20% off, see they have free shipping, and they'll just buy it. And then I'll make my 12 almost $13 profit, which I'm happy with. So... Yeah, we will see if that continues. That would be great. So let me just think through this. 
Oh, and I did start posting things on my second closet. Remember the green attic? So that's what I'm using as kind of my clearance closet now that doesn't have free shipping. Um, I might do some, I sporadically do like 10% with the lowest percent of the lowest uh, shipping discount and send that out. Um, but I am keeping it listed on the other platforms. So I was delisting it on the other platforms and just have it on my second closet, but I thought, well, why would I do that? So I'm still going to keep those items, but I'm going to try to clear some off on Poshmark on the second closet. So I hope that makes sense. I sold one item for $8 with, with discounted shipping. So I didn't make really much at all. I'll tell you about that when we get to it anyway. So shipping is seven, six, seven, five, sixty. Okay. So yeah, I did bring my thing up. I'm getting closer. I'm supposed to be at 89% right now and I'm at 81%. 81.82. So I think that will catch up a little bit more. Hopefully that can catch up more by the end of the, um, end of the month. So how's your December going? I know for some people it's been really, really slow. And I think the reason why it's not been that slow for me is because I just, I decided to do free shipping for, for the whole month. I think that's why. And okay, I've got to pee. Got to pay attention when I get these because I don't want to mix them up because I would be bad. I want stuff to get there. I want. I did put in for a pickup request for my. Um, hopefully, she doesn't have the day off today. I don't think she does. I think I have it marked in my calendar because. The way at least the postal workers in my area work, I don't know if it works the same way all over the country, but they always get Sundays off, right? The carriers, they get Sunday off, but then they get a rotating other day off. And so I figured out, oh, my, my old uh, postman, Jason came one day when my new one was not delivering for that day. Um, cause she was off and he's like oh no it's her day off i'm like oh, okay cool so i put that on my phone and i kind of tracked it and he told me yeah it's going to be the next next week is going to be you know that was a wednesday the next week will be a thursday and then a friday and the next week you know so on and so forth so i put that on my thing so i know what day she has off because i know that when she's not working that my pick if i do a pickup request it doesn't usually get picked up um because sometimes they cancel the whole route for the day because they're understaffed and I get that. That's totally cool. That's why I just need to track her, uh, her day off. So I know not to do that. And I'm pretty sure not today's not that no, not cause she has Friday off this week. There we go. That's right. Cause I did check earlier. <laughs> I was just confusing myself anyway. So the next item, okay. This, this is a J crew. I know that J crew shirting shirt shirting. Sold a Macari. So I do need to go to my email to get the address. I mean, I know I can get it from the app too. I can get it for, um, I know I can get it for, what do you call it? From the actual like program, platform, whatever but I don't like to do that. I like to get it from my email. So, Oh, I did not mark the other one shipped. I need to do that real quick. Yeah. Cause I'm talking and, uh, not, not always paying attention from shipment. Yes. Yes. Next. Okay, cool. Now to go back to the other one. Well, now I have it open. I might as well just do it from here. Da, da, da. There you go. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to view order. Okay. Now I can ship it. I don't know how much it's going to cost, so we'll find out going to Massachusetts. Okay, now I gotta weigh it. So it's good to have a scale. I know 
lot of people don't have scales. And if you're going to do anything outside of, I mean, you should have it for, for Poshmark as well, to be honest. You should. Because you need to know whether or not if you have a bundle that's over five pounds so that you can get the next one up. Okay, so it's 10 ounces. Okay. Shouldn't be too bad. Even going to Massachusetts should be pretty good. And then I'll tell you, ooh, 538. It's usually what it is because it has an extra 40 cents. It would have been 498, but an extra 40 cents um, for holiday surge. Oh, well. Print. Okay. Let me update that. Oh, I did. I already guessed it was going to cost me five thirty-eight because that's been the majority of what they've been costing anyway. So let's see. Did I put that in my other spreadsheet? Yes. Okay. And I think under five thirty-eight. Yep. Okay. So cool. Moving on. So this is a Ralph Lauren, Lauren Ralph Lauren um, linen top. It sold on eBay. So let's go back to eBay. Um, it has roll tab sleeves, but they don't roll. No, they do roll up. Yeah. Um, it is sold for $31.49. I estimate it'll be five thirty-eight in shipping and all that. So I should make a profit of $20.41. I do love that. I did already pre-weigh this. It's 12 ounces. Yay. I love it when I pre-weigh things. I've been trying to do that more. I've been trying to pre-weigh it. That way it just, because if you pre-weigh it, then you can do bulk um, on eBay. And that's really what I need to get to. So I gotta put my dimensions in there. You can pre put in your dimensions as well. Probably a good idea. Oh, it's going 523. So I was a little off. Me a little cheaper. Yay. Love it when it's a little cheaper. It's going to M O. Is that Montana? No, is that M N? Is that Missouri? It's going to Jamestown, M.O. I think it's Missouri, isn't it? Tell me <laughs> in the comment below. I'm geographically not inclined, okay? Like, I I think I can name all the 50 states. You know, a lot of Americans can't actually name all the 50 states, which is really funny. I remember we were doing, I was doing it with my husband, and he thought Philadelphia, no. Yeah, he thought Philadelphia was a state. Like, no, that's in Pennsylvania. But I thought it was pretty cute. But okay. So that's done. Oh, yeah. Let me make sure it's on my spreadsheet because I was not the best. Oh, no. Yep. Okay. It's on there. Cool. Okay. So. Moving on. Oh yeah. Okay. So this is what sold. I have it not bagged. So this is what sold um, on my other Poshmark. The only thing that sold over the weekend. There's only about a hundred items there. So there's not that many, but let me tell you. It, I made $2.33 and didn't have free shipping, but it had, it sold for $8, you know, of course the $2.95 um, and then the $1.72, it all kind of adds up. So I'm just happy to get it out just on its way somewhere else. I probably won't pick up these anymore. They don't, they used to do better than they do now. Or maybe just some of the prints do better, which is probably the case. 
Um, I need to go to my other account so I can know the name on that. Okay. I think it must be this guy. Yep. I was like, it should be the first one I printed, and it is. Anyway. Yay, that's done. I'm pretty sure I put that in my spreadsheet. Yes. Okay. Next item is, oh, I know what this is. I've had this for a while. I'm glad this finally just sold to somebody. Okay, so... This is a halogen. It, it was a collaboration between halogen, which is a Nordstrom house brand and Atlantic Pacific. It was a medium black metallic rib sweater. I got this at the bins a while ago and it um, sold for $21 on Poshmark with free shipping and all that. So I made a profit of $7 and 54 cents. Happy just to get it out. Let's make sure I put it in here. I did. Okay, cool. Now to ship it. Okay. I am happy that I got a lot of stuff out. Like I'm happy to ship out 24 items from a couple of days of sales. That's amazing. That makes me so happy. Even if I didn't make the most amount of money on everything, that's okay. And it's funny because my husband kind of put it in perspective for me. Um, cause I was like, oh, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know what I said, but he's like, well, it's better to make $6,000 in smaller sales than 3000 in bigger sales. I'm like, you're right. You're a hundred percent right. So I need to just, you know, profit is profit and it all adds up. And there are people that can make a perfectly good amount of money off of smaller profit items and that's okay. And if that's your business model, that's okay. Um, I, I don't like it when people tell people that their business model is wrong because it's not, it's not, it's wrong for like your business model might be wrong for me, which is perfectly okay. But my business model will also probably be wrong for you. And that's okay. Cause it all depends on what you have available to you in your area. Um, not everyone has access to anthropology. Not everyone has access to higher end stuff. They just don't, depending on where you live. And if you do have access to it, some of those people don't drive like hours and hours and hours and they don't necessarily want to do that. Totally understand that. So if you find a large quantity of more like bread and butter type stuff and that's just what you do, that is okay. And don't let anyone tell you you're doing the wrong thing. Because those people, um, I mean, there are some things you can do wrong, but like, by lying on your, on, you know, not, not, not being truthful and you're listening and that kind of stuff. You don't want to do that, obviously. But like in terms of how you do things, it's up to you because at the end of the day, it's your money, it's your time and, and your energy and how you choose to spend it is not my business and vice versa. But I will, I always share how I do things and you know, it's fine. It's fine if I do things differently, that's okay too. Um, anyway, so. Next item. Oof. I'm glad these sold. These are um, Hot Topic. I really thought they would sell on Depop. They did not. They sold on eBay? I think they did. They did. So let me find them over here. Okay. So they sold for $27. Um, after fees, I estimated the shipping. I, it looks like I'll make a profit of $12.92. Let's see, I'm right on the shipping. I try to get more air out. I always try to get all the air out before I ship it because I don't want to pay for air. And air, even though it's light, costs you money. You can push it into the next bracket. Okay. How much do you weigh? Do not weigh this up front. Uh -huh. Okay, so yeah, it's 15 ounces. 
So I think I did weigh it up front and it was one, one pound as I left it. So 651. Okay, cool. Because at least on eBay, so I was off a little bit, but not by much. I made 1309. But did I put this on my spreadsheet? Find out. Yes. Let me fix the shipping. Also correct. Cool. Basically, they're Hot Topic, medium green, black, plaid, emo, goth, Y2K pants. That's what I put in there. So let me print that and we can away for that. Then it's all the coats. Yay. I'm going to cry when I do that Zara one. Well, one of the Zara ones. I already know it. It's not going to fit in anything small. It's going to go kind of expensive. And it's going to be sad. But we'll find out. Maybe. Maybe they'll be closer to me and I'll be pleasantly surprised. That's happened a few times where someone was like really close to me. And so the shipping wasn't that much, even though it was a little heavy. Okay. Oh, this is a Guinness tie. It's really not much. Just it's a new tag. And that sold on Poshmark as well with free shipping, which kind of hurts my soul a tiny bit, but it's okay. Moving on. But it sold for $25. So someone just buy it straight up, um, which is what I was hoping would happen with free shipping. So um, it sold for $25. And after fees and shipping, I made a profit of $10.33. And I've had this, I haven't had this for very long, for about two months. So not too bad. Pretty sure this is in my spreadsheet. But let's make sure, because I don't think they all are. Yes, it is. Actually, I should see. I had 24 on there. 20, 21. So I'm missing three so far still. Okay. Um, okay, let's go back. That's Poshmark. I'll keep biting my lip. Or not my lip, my cheek. You know how you bite your cheek once and it swells up a little bit and you just keep biting it? it sucks. But yeah. Okay, what's your name? Running out of labels, so I have to be one of these. Is this on eBay? Or Poshmark? Yeah, it is. I hate it when sometimes they change their name. That might have happened in this. Oh, so I need to look at the. I hate it when they change it, but I do like that they put the uh, order number on these now on Poshmark. Maybe I didn't. No, this is it. He did change his name. Okay. Jeez. Make sure. Yep. Okay. And here's Guinness tie. Cool. All right. Next item. Okay, so I'll pull both of these out. And then we got all those hanging up. Okay, so this one is what is this one? Oh, these are Chico's, but they are um they sold on eBay. They are linen pants. Let me find them. Oh yeah, that's not my spreadsheet because I don't have the shipping on it yet. So, okay. Let's get the air out of this. I love these cotton mailers. Although I get these from uh, You Pack and Ship, which I love their company. But these ones have kind of like they had. This one's had like a splitting issue. Just this batch. The other ones I got didn't do that. Twelve ounces. 
Um, oh, I already, I already did that. Okay. I wasn't even looking at no service available. What? What the hell? No service available. Okay. I just had to refresh it. That's weird when it says that on eBay. It's like, no, there needs to be service available. <laughs> this is going to Michigan. Okay. 538. Hmm. So after fees and all that, because it sold for $18 on eBay. I just accepted it just to move it along. Um, cause it's a, it's a 0.5, it's a small size in Chico. So I'm okay with making $6 and 37 cent profit, which gets it out. I generally want to stay, I'm going to try to stick to the bigger sizes more as well. Like I'm probably not going to pick up many smaller sizes anymore, unless it's like a really good piece and that then I will pick up a smaller size, but I think for the most part, I'm just going to pick up bigger sizes because there's more demand for that. So if I, I think if I can kind of target that more, then I won't fill up on such smaller sizes that take a lot longer to sell because a lot more of them, you know, the, the uh, market is saturated with them. You know, they have so much to choose from already. So and I know people that are like my size or bigger um, or even smaller have a harder time finding cute clothes because, well, A, it's just harder to find them, but because they don't always make them the best. And so they don't last as long, which sucks. But did I put this in there now? No, I need to do that now. Um, but it's nice when you do find some nice quality high end, not high end necessarily, but good quality stuff. Cause even the Chico stuff can be, um, pretty good. Oh, I just didn't put in the, oh, I didn't put anything in there. Okay. I put that it sold, but not anything else. Okay. So, okay. This is an Ann Taylor skirt. And it is, I put Barbie core in there, I'm pretty sure. Or at least in the, oh, I did in the tags. Um, it's Ann Taylor Women's 10 Front Asymmetrical Slit Pink Pencil Skirt. It's cute. I haven't had it for very long. Yeah, I got it in October, mid-October, and it sold in December, at the end of December. Sold for $20 with five, uh, shipping and all that. I made $8 ship. $8 profit. Wow. It's not $8 shipping, but let's see how much it will cost me for shipping for real. I think, did I do, don't think I actually weighed this. I think I approximated it. Yeah. 14 ounces which I don't think that makes a difference from a pound to be perfectly honest. Yeah. 612. So a little bit more expensive than I thought it was going to be. So I made less. I mean, 733 profit, which is fine. Get it out. I mean, I think that's a fast flip in my opinion. So if I can make a $7 and 33 cent profit, get my original $2 back. So it means you don't go to the bins, get something else. That all adds up and I'm okay with that. I don't know if I'll pick up this kind of stuff in, it, anymore. I haven't decided. I think I will still pick up some Ann Taylor stuff, but it'll be like probably not a skirt like this. I only picked up because it was pink and I know Barbie core is, a, you know, kind of a big thing right now. That's the only reason I picked it up. So, um, I don't pick up all Ann Taylor. I only pick up, I want to pick up the bigger sizes though. Cause I think that does sell better than the smaller sizes, obviously. 10 is not too small, but it's still, you know, if, if you, I wanna try to get extra large and above, honestly, for things, because I think that will do better in the end. So we'll see. Let's see what I actually end up doing. Although I, the last few times I've gone to the bins, I've actually done a pretty good job of leaving 
stuff behind that I normally would pick up that I'm not picking up anymore. And not because it's not worth picking up. It's just not what I want to sell. I don't want to sell it and that's okay. I don't have to want to sell everything. I don't do electronics. I don't do hard goods. I mean, I might do some hard goods, but I'm not really into hard goods. I tried for a while to get into hard goods and I just, it didn't make me happy. I mean, I like mugs, but okay. So that's it over there. So that's it for what will fit in here. So I'm going to put this somewhere else over here. My desk is a mess. Okay. This is what I'm going to be trying over. I'm pretty sure. So let's do this one first. I wonder where this is going to go. For the rest of this video, I'm not going to be uh, sitting. So I probably have to redo my camera. All right. Well, I might be sitting. I don't know. But I think this is good enough. So this is also eBay. Let's go back. Yeah. Where are you going? She got a great deal. Ohio. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how I how I can shrink it down because this is a pretty big coat. It's kind of light though. But it is I think it is down or it's like a synthetic down. So it might like it might shrink down pretty well, actually. But will it shrink down to a size I can put a fat plaited, plaited, padded flat rate? Probably not. Probably not. Although, oof. Okay, I'm gonna put it in one of these. Let's see, okay, I'm not gonna put it in that. Actually, I'm gonna put it in, this will be easier. For me i get these um they're just clear they're garbage bags but they have no tie at the end of them so i use them for coats and stuff it works really well i think i got this from costco i don't remember what size they are do i have the box in here still i don't think so okay But then I can get it kind of small in here. And yeah, I use my body weight to make it smaller because it works. All right. All right. Yeah, that won't put a bit in a had a flat rate, but that's okay. It's going to cost $13 to ship this damn thing. Oh, where are my bigger? Oh, here's my bigger eBay ones. Ooh, and maybe on the bigger items on eBay, I might charge shipping actually. And just do, uh, and just do the free shipping on the lighter items. I don't know. I haven't decided. Although, like I said before, I probably need to do this for at least ninety days to really get a good idea. So it's three pounds. Awesome. Pretty sure I'm going to put this into a three pounds. I wonder if that would fit into a regional one. Let's see. What would a regional one be? Yeah. Yeah, because you put it up to three pounds and it becomes $17.99, which I'm not paying that in shipping. No, no, no. That's just regular priority, not using their boxes, not flat rate price at all. So... Medium box is $14, but maybe I can send it a different parcel select, which I don't want to do. Cause I mean, yeah, parcel selects is 1265. It's only like a dollar and some change difference. I don't want to do that cause it takes forever. So 
Yeah, let me get a medium flattery box. And put it in there. Because, yeah, that's the right thing to do, in my opinion. That's what we're going to do. Medium flat rate. And it's going to be $14. So oh, I did put it at $13. So actually, I put it at $13.06. So I'm still making a $20, $20 profit. I'm so happy with that. So it's over $46.54 on eBay uh fees and cost of goods and shipping and all that so i made a twenty dollars and 24 cents i'm good with that was i hoping for more absolutely but you know what a quick i literally listed this on the 11th and uh i sold on the 25th of december so it's a quick 20 bucks why not and a quick 20 bucks will roll into way more money than a slow $60. It really will. Okay. Okay. All right. So go to the next one. Here's the next one. Okay. So I'm going to go and order on eBay right now. So I sold this. Oh my god. Jeez. This Eloquy. Oh my god. I'm just like, where am I gonna put everything? Uh it's a like a topper or a kimono type thing. Ties in the well, it doesn't tie in the front, sorry. It has these two buttons in the front. It's really pretty. I had this for a hot minute, so. Let me fold it and then I will tell you how much I sold it for. All right. Do you want to put it in another? Yes, I know plastic and plastic, but you know what? It protects the item and that's what I'm looking for. I'd rather protect the item and have it get there safely than, I mean, because honestly, us doing individual things isn't going to solve our issue. You know, it, we need big corporations to do it. So, like I said, I'm not getting political. I'm just saying. It's well known. Until they get more serious about it, it won't matter really what we do. And that's really the, that's really the, the honest truth. It sucks. Anyway, moving along. Um, so, oh yeah, this might have to go into a, a flat rate because that might be over two pounds or over a pound, I mean. It is. It is over a pound. So, oh wait, let me make sure I put this on my spreadsheet because I'm pretty sure I didn't. Drink some coffee. Oh, I did. I need to update the shipping though. That's it. Oh, all right. Okay. At least rest is, is Poshmark and it's easier. I haven't gotten one sale. Oh, I got another sale on, uh, ooh, got another sale on eBay. 
Okay. It's another bigger coat for $34. We'll see how much that will cost. Okay. Um, so, no, I do need to put this in a flat rate. Okay. Let me make sure it'll fit in there before I say yes. Oof. I need, I need to reconfigure my office. I think I'm going to put my computer on that wall where the kitty is and uh, kind of flip this around because I think there's just a better way I can do it. And I'm kind of daisy chaining some things to get power to this side of the room since the, the, the big, uh, the three prong one, uh, we call it three prong outlet is only on that wall. So I probably shouldn't do that. So I will be doing that soon. in the table still well for the most part yeah okay i'll move it down just a tad so you can still see the table um yes so oh i didn't put any of the fees or anything in this okay so oh that's on the spreadsheet then let me go get those fees going to Texas. I hope she enjoys it. Now let's see how much I paid for fees. It always makes me cringe a little bit because I do promote listings and I, I, you know, I, I signed up for it, so I'm okay with it. Just sometimes the fees are a little bit much, but you know, it is what it is. This is the world we live in now. So, um, oh yeah, my cost of goods were a little high on this. So this is why I didn't make that much money on it, but still for $30, of course on eBay. Um, my cost of goods was six forty eight because I got this from a thrift store. I don't really go to thrift stores anymore. I might go for really good items. like literally look for really good items, but I think that might be a waste of my time because I find really good items at the bins. I don't know. It depends. Maybe I'll just do that once in a while just to kind of get a fresh look. But I tend to end up buying stuff that I shouldn't when I go to thrift stores. And so maybe I'll be better about it now. I don't know. Because, I mean, I did find that Harley Davidson jean jacket that I got for, like, cost average, like, for $10. But I sold it for 100 You know, there's things like that that I would like to find. And those I know do exist in regular thrift stores. Anyway, so after fees and all that and my cost of goods back, I made $9.19 off this Eloquy um, long kimono jacket. It's a size 18. So now I need to put on my spreadsheet. Seriously, it's a work with me now, isn't it? And hopefully whoever's watching this likes these kinds of uh, videos. Otherwise, you're probably not here anymore. For whatever reason, this is not on my spreadsheet. What? That's weird. I don't like that when that happens. I'm to add it completely. Like, I try to make sure this is up to date, but it's not always. I did watch a live and it's funny because I was talking to somebody on flip, one of the sellers I'm sending a box to, and she has this theory that Poshmark might be punishing people for not watching Posh shows. I don't know if that's true or not. Might just be, um, oh, what is that called? Confirmation bias, but I'm going to try to watch some, I did watch. Here's a problem for me watching these posh shows because I want to buy stuff. I watch one from uh, the Posh Kings and I end up buying. So I, bought, I bought this really cute sweater. It's St. John's Bay. I don't care. It's cute. I liked it. And they said it was soft. So I'm like, all right, cool. I like soft stuff. 
Um, and I don't, my skin, I don't have any issues. I don't like, I can wear synthetic stuff and be fine with it. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm going to try to watch a few like throughout the week while I'm doing other things, like while I'm working and just kind of say stuff once in a while and see if that helps my sales on Poshmark. So I don't know. Cause my sales have been okay on Poshmark. But I did watch a few shows over the last couple of days and then I made a bunch of sales. So I don't know if they're related at all. So what I'm going to do is for over the next week, I'm going to watch some posh shows. I'm, I'm going to try to watch one every day, at least one every day, maybe two every day. And then the next two weeks, watch nothing and see what happens and see, do my sales tank greatly or not at all? We'll see. I don't know if it's even possible to get good information off of that, but it's still an interesting experiment. So, and I do plan to do these kinds of videos often, maybe daily, maybe every day that I actually ship. I don't know. I haven't decided. So don't hold me to it, but I might do ship with me every day. I don't know. Depending on if I have anything to ship, because some days I make no, like, there was a no sale day this this month, but I also had an $800 sale day this month. So like my grid is, my grid on Bendy was like seriously a roller coaster for December. Okay, so I need to go back. I'm gonna have to go grab the other one. I think it might be in that closet. Let's see. Let's go back. And if not, I'll just leave the room and edit that out. Oh, I have one more. It's here. So it's the row. So the Seville Row Company. This is from London. Just a regular, we call it blazer. Um, is it women's? Yeah, it's I think it's women's. Yes, it is women's because it buttons that way. I'm learning to remember that. So anyway, that sold. So this actually is pretty light. So this actually might get to go first class. Let's see. Oh my, God. my chair is so like, I have these caster, I took off the regular, the original wheels off this chair. And then, cause I was out on carpet and I got these caster wheels, which work really well on carpet. But then when I get on hardwood, I need to get a carpet for this room. That's what I need to do. Put a carpet in the middle of this room and then it became, makes it a little easier not to wheel around so much like that. But it's nice sometimes when I'm like taking pictures and I need to like sit down to take the picture because my shadow is over, is, is, my shadow is too much. So I need to sit down so I don't put a cast a shadow. There we go. Cast a shadow on my clothing and that can change the color and make it look different. Okay. Yes. Purchase this. Don't weigh this. Please be under a pound. Yes, it is under a pound. So we are going first class. Yay for us. So, yeah. Maybe I'll put it in here. I think so. Oh my, yay for us, like we're all included in this. Like, yay for me, really, but. Like, what I'm paying for shipping, you don't care. It doesn't affect you in any way. That's me. Okay. I'm gonna make sure it's still when I put it in here. Make sure it's still under, yes. So it's one pound, not two pounds, yay. Although sometimes first class can be almost as much as priority. This is going to California. It's gonna cost $6.12. So they paid $30 and 18 cents. Oh, it's going to cost me less money than I thought it was going to cost me for shipping. So 
Um, after fees and all that, and obviously shipping, I made a profit of $14 and 29 cents, which is fantastic. I said, I had this for a little while. This I got in July and it didn't sell till now. So about five months. So I think this is one of the ones that are missing my spreadsheet. It's not, oh, it's not because I estimated the shipping at 8.30 instead of 6.12. Okay, so I need to print that and go on to the next item. I need to get that red coat that just sold. in here. Let me go check. It is. I have a walk-in closet right here. It's not a very big walk-in closet. Um, but I, I store a lot of the coats in there or dresses that are, I don't want to put in the bins in the basement. So this is a Jason Cole. Here's the tag. Let me get on StreamYard so I can actually see what I'm doing. Here's the tag. This is a red jacket. It may come across as orange. I don't know. Sometimes it, stuff comes across as orange, but it's not, or a different color. But sometimes it's just to me, and it's fine to everybody else. So I don't know. But yeah, this is what sold when I was making my video. So let's see how much this is going to cost to ship. Pretty light though, so I don't know. Oh yeah, you know these kinds that have like this that stick to you, right? I figured out that if you just kind of do this, it takes the static electricity off of it and then it doesn't stick to you. Okay, this feels a little heavy. This feels like it's gonna be two pounds, but I think I can fit this into a padded flat rate. So I think it won't be that big of a deal. Let's get it here. Do it, okay. Okay. Oh, she way. Yeah, I can feel it ways. Yeah, definitely. Oof. Grab this. Okay. And since I got it into this other one, it'll fit. There we go going everywhere. Okay. A little reinforcement on the top. This one's not stuffed too much. So I don't reinforce it all the way around on these ones. Um, yeah, I keep getting, I have one like, shirt that keep people are trying to give me like $20 for on eBay with free shipping, but they all live in New York and they're, and it's like a heavier, um, top. Like it, I think it might be just at a pound. So it'll cost me like almost $7 to ship it to New York. So I'm like, no. And after fees and all that, I'll make nothing. So I'm like, no, 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 no. I need a little bit more than that. Okay. Purchase this. This is not online, my, uh, what do you call it, spreadsheet. So I better go find it. Okay. 
Jason. Okay, what did I sell this for? Hopefully it didn't sell on promoted listing. It did. Of course it did. It did. Almost all of them do. But then I wouldn't make the sales if I didn't do promoted listings. I just wouldn't make good sales. For whatever reason, some people can do it without using promoted listings at all. I cannot. I, I Whenever I've gone below, like, uh, suggested, I've been doing suggested plus two and max of 12%. And whenever I do below suggested, my my eBay just tanks. I, I don't know why, but it, that's just the way it is for me. And so I just, I've accepted that. Oh, it was not $39, $34. I've accepted that and... That's just the way it is for me. I find it's easier if you can accept certain things, then it's easier on you. Anyway, so this will put $34.20. Um, fees, cost of goods, and shipping excluded. Um, I made a profit of $16.92. And when I say fees, I do include the promoted listing fees. So that's pretty good. That helps me get to my goal. A spreadsheet. And really what I'm hoping is eBay is about 50% of what I made in December so far. And I'm really hoping that it gets to be more, you know, like I sell so much on eBay that it's really good. So we'll see. Shipping, 30, okay. Now, I didn't print it, I didn't print it yet. Okay. I'll have to edit this and edit in some pictures. I'm going to edit in the pictures. So this whole time you will have been seeing the pictures. But so I don't know why I'm even saying this part because you won't know the difference. Okay. So. Oh, I didn't, I didn't let them know that I shipped the other item. Okay. Let me go do that in here. Yep. Sending it to Paula, which is how Jack and or Jack, Ryan says it, not Jack. Maybe Jack says it too. Paula. I don't know. I'm probably doing it bad, a bad imitation of what they do, but okay. Now that little thingy will go away. Cool. So my car is taken care of. And just got to do the last few for Poshmark then. Yeah. Okay. So back here. Okay. We have this. This is a... This was from Pride. Um, it's new with tag, but it's from 2021, I believe, or 2022 Pride. Um, but it, it was sold at Target. So it's this, and then the back says this New York, and um, it says the Stonewall Riots, 628.69, and. Uh, so I, I got this at a thrift store. I did not make that much money on this at all, which is fine. Um, like I said, this is from before when I was still shopping at thrift stores, which I don't do now. So this sold for 
which was my full asking. Or no, it wasn't. Actually, it was up there for 50 so this was 20% off. Um, after fees and shipping and my cost of goods. So I made a profit of $18.35. Oh, I think I did get this at the bins. Oh, no, no. My cost average for that day from this trip was only $1.98 per item because it was a Monday trip. That's right. So something like that. Anyway, this... Uh, because I have to get real small at least. This is Poshmark. Yay. That's the one good thing about Poshmark is if it's if it's heavier items, it's still only it's pretty cheap. The shipping is great for heavier items. So I mean maybe I'll just list all my light items on eBay. Heavy items. No, I won't do that. Because heavy items sell just fine on eBay as well. So you don't want to be stunting yourself. I'll just fit in here. Oh. I think I need a bigger one. Where are my big black ones? I have some bigger black ones. There we go. No, I don't think that's that much bigger. Okay. I think they're over here. I'm going to go grab those. My office is a mess. Actually, these are bigger. Okay. There, I'll just use these. I need to re, I need to redo everything, organize it better. My office is not organized at all, if you can't see. But I need to organize it better so it works better. So, here are my, oh, here they are. So, let me get the right guy, the right person. Not entirely, entirely sure if this is a guy or not, but hope this person enjoys it. It's going to Illinois. Okay. This Zara coat. Um, I've had this for a little bit. Let's see how much it sold for. The size medium. Sometimes I do my use my eBay packaging for Poshmark. Not always, but sometimes it depends. But um, this sold for. Let me tell you. Oh yeah, let me make sure this is on my spreadsheet. I'm pretty sure it is, but I want to make sure it is. Okay. almost done providing nothing else sells right now okay so this sold for 31 dollars on poshmark um after shipping my cost of goods i got this from the bins and uh paid for shipping and uh no poshmark fees i made a profit of 15 dollars and 13 cents which you know i'm happy to make that profit Profit is profit. Okay, yes, I do have it on there. Okay, so let's get this packaged. Probably fit into one of those black ones again. Oh, no, this needs to go into a bag. Oh, they're over here. That's like where I put them. not doing any obviously you've seen not doing any like special packaging when I have this many I do not do anything extra if if I had a really high price sale I would um but not just not for these days. if I had something that was like a couple hundred dollars oh yeah I'd be doing some bells and whistles for that but that would be worth it because they spent a bunch of money with me so I need the bigger ones. Where are my bigger ones? I know I have some bigger white ones. I'll just get these. Oh, are these not really bigger? No, they're not bigger. Okay, well, I will be using the eBay one then. 
I get these for free on eBay. Because I do have a... I have a store that allows me to have 10000 because I have over a 1000 listings. And so I get $50 per quarter. And so I just buy this kind of stuff with it. Tape. Okay. So let me find this. We're almost done. Okay. Could be a little confused, but like eBay. That's okay. And last but not least is this buckle coat. Sold for forty dollars is what I was talking about earlier. Um, after shipping and my fees back and um, eBay, not eBay, Poshmark getting their fees. I made twenty two dollars and forty four cents, which is fine. And I am glad to move it along. It's a, it's a cool coat. I got it at the bins, you know. You don't always do the best, but it was a pretty fast sale, really, because I listed it on the 2nd of December and it sold on the 26th. So it took 24 days for this to sell, making a quick $22. I'm happy about that. So, yes, I do have it in here. Cool. So I should have everything up here then. Let me make sure... I have 24 sales on here. 22 still. Hmm. But this, I think, said it had 24 sales. I'll have to figure out later what's missing. Oh, I didn't redo it either. So that's probably why. Nope, now I have 24 sales, but really should have 25. Oh, well. I'm missing one somewhere. Okay. So I need to ship that. And that will be the last one. All right. Yep. Okay. This is a cool coat, though. This buckle coat. It's distressed and it has its faux leather on it. Um, man, I'd really love to find another Indiana Jones leather jacket. That's sold for 200 bucks, I think. Pretty sure that is a while ago, a little while ago now, but I'm gonna find more of those because that sold well. Yeah, this is gonna be another. I'm just gonna put it in here and call it good. Oh, but I will put in one here first. That way it's protected from rain. Because. Oh, I think it stopped raining though. Or knock on some wood. It probably only stopped raining for like 10 minutes. It's been raining. It rained all night. It rained. It rained so much that it's, like I said, flooding my. It doesn't flood the basement. It just gets the floor wet a little bit. And then because it's heated, it dries pretty quickly. So. I'm glad that my basement is heated though. Because then I can use it for storing my stuff. Oh, goodness. No. Okay. And I have enough space for all my stuff. Now I'm going to go put it on my porch and let my male lady come and get it. Yay, she's amazing. I love her. I don't remember her name though. I think it's Tiffany. I don't remember. All right, there we are. That's all my sales for today. I am, well, for not today, for the 25th to 26th. So, Christmas, the day after Christmas, and some from today. And that's it. So I th I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like these kinds of videos because I think I'm going to do them a lot more often. Um, I do haul videos. I'll have one coming up because I'm going to the bins tomorrow. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.